The party at this landmark hotel shows how far Sarisha's come from the young girl who worked the till at her parents' shop. A journalism graduate, former radio host and actress on shows like Home Affairs, she's built a beauty products business and has worked for this lifestyle. How does the decor in the various rooms reflect Sarisha's personality? I think she's so elegant. She's elegant and classical at the same time. So that's what we're trying to bring across. We've paired with different textures, we have some sequins, we brought in lots of fairy lights in all different shapes and sizes and kinds just to add more magic to the evening. And we had loads of Phalaenopsis orchids and some balloons just for a pop of fun. And then onto the outside, we um, did a beautiful long banquet table for people to enjoy a meal together. There's some more table seating inside, and that's got a lovely canopy of tropical leaves and dendrobium orchids dripping down from it. So it's quite a romantic, but also fun feel that we've tried to bring through. Sarisha produces many events and charity functions, but was happy for once to hand over the reins. Can you tell us what the order of tonight's events are going to be? The order of tonight's events is very laid back, casual, relaxed, different areas of, of interesting food, lots of drinks, cocktails, a gin bar. And people really, Sarisha's words to me were, she wanted the food to flow the entire evening. She wanted people to have a different experience of all things that she loved. And hopefully we have managed to capture that. Close friends and family had already joined the birthday girl for a few days in Mauritius. This event was to share the love and celebration with her wider circle of friends. You look absolutely beautiful, that goes without being said. You're always going to pull out a showstopper. Did you expect such a big turnout? Yes, because the people I chose specifically are the people that I love and I interact with. I think turning 40 is a huge milestone in a woman's life and you've got to own it. You've got to accept it and it's easy for me to say to everyone, I'm turning 40. But uh, everyone in the room has shown me such uh, huge love, has been amazing, has sent me positive messages. So yes, the best, the best day ever. What were your expectations, the vibe, the decor? Can you talk us through it? You know, Viv's always throwing surprise parties for me, so this is the first birthday that I got to plan and I got involved in. So from the moment I got off the car, walked in, the big reveal, which is amazing, and I love the fact that Haroon made my little girl a cute little shift dress that matched my beads, so that for me was spectacular. Then to walk in to all my friends and family in the lounge, um, and from Elements you flow down into the garden where you have the Perspex marquee, because even though I wanted the marquee on the beach, everyone said it's really you need to be practical, we'll give you the garden where you can look onto the beach. So that worked for me. So to see the pier through this Perspex marquee was, was amazing. The chandeliers, very open sort of plan, no formal seating, everybody mingling. Like, so I mean, the, from the food to the decor, everything just needed to be very beachy and relaxed, but with a hint of decadence and summer magic. Among the many heartfelt tributes on the night was from businessman Vivian Reddy her husband of 13 years and father of their children, Sehil and Kalina. Today, it's all about my fantastic wife, Sarisha, one of the most wonderful and amazing human beings you can ever get. Someone that's a pillar of strength to the family, someone that shows so much of love and togetherness. She's a bubbly personality, full of life, and, and we're very excited, you know. It's the big 40, but she still looks 20, <laughs> and, and it's gonna be a really, really exciting evening. Sarisha is up at 4.30 every morning, seeing to family and business, and her friends were enjoying her taking it easy. Beautiful place, beautiful people. What well wishes do you have for Sarisha? I want to say to her, girl, life begins at 40. Fly. This is your time to blossom. This is your time to find who you really are. And we have seen Sarisha growing. We have seen her blossoming as, as a woman, but also as a businesswoman. And I want to say to her, happy 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 birthday and we are there as friends to make sure that she reaches all her dreams we want to wish her everything of the best uh, our good wishes go towards a successful career into the future and she will certainly do us proud I wish her all the best she's so humble I just speak more peace and prosperity in her plans and in desires most importantly peace in everything that she does the guest list included fellow philanthropists and co-stars from her acting and presenting careers. When I think Sarisha, I'm immediately 
captivated by her charm, her charisma, and by the positive energy she exudes. And I just spoke to her a short while ago, and I mentioned to her that each time I see her, it's like a breath of fresh air, and it's never ending with her. And it's, it's such an inspiration being a friend with such a dear and wonderful soul. So Risha's birthday is nothing short of spectacular. What are some well wishes that you have for her? Well, I wish her all the best that she may spend the next 40 years and even times three. She's a lovely lady. I know her husband very well. So it's a lovely day. It's a family day for friends to celebrate a life that is worth living for. Alan, you've worked with Sarisha before. What kind of a person is she and why? is everyone showing so much love tonight. Well, I used to co-host the uh, morning show on East Coast Radio with her, and no one looked as good as Sarisha did at 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> uh, she was fun, effervescent. She's just got such a sweet, big, caring heart. And I think the love that she gives, she gets back. And uh, people like her are very special, and they're hard to come by. So we've got to try and sort of recreate the happy birthday that we sang in there. And I think Alan's going to take us away with that one, right? You're going to lead it. <laughs> Listen, I'm a radio presenter. You want me to sing? I mean, I'll try. Come on, let's go. But you're just a great Marilyn Monroe impersonation. Three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sarisha. Happy birthday to you. In the 15 years since she won Miss India South Africa, Sarisha Naidu's become a queen of the Durban business, arts and social scene and a credit to KZN.